This is a new experience here at the Laredo Terminal. You go through this big open building for trailer inspection. Yeah, so welcome to the Laredo, Texas Werner Terminal. First time here. Look at this fancy mood lighting. Ooh. Anyway, hey, also, welcome to the joy of trucking. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel and you want to see the roads of America and learn about trucking, please subscribe. And now let's check this out. Join us. This is a new experience here at the Laredo Terminal. You go through this big open building for trailer inspection. And then they tell you where to put the trailer. So that has never happened at any other terminal. Some terminals at the guard shack, they'll tell you to fill out on a, a sheet. You know, if, if the trailer needs something and you have to go hand it in at the trailer shop. But uh, this, this is something totally new. I have a bit to do with our close proximity to the border and all the loads coming across from Mexico in here. That just did not happen in El Paso. The other, the other strange thing is I gotta go get my paperwork over at the office for my next load. Like, it won't be at the guard shack in the morning and the office won't be open until 8 a.m. Want me to shut it off? empty. We've been having problems with the tablet so sometimes they kick us out in the middle of the inspection. So okay. It's a <laughs> it might take long or we start. Okay. If people someone some problems get mad if we start again. I've never been here before and I haven't seen this at any other terminal. What so what what are you inspecting for? Uh the night Why do they do that here? Is it because this trailer's probably going across the border or something? It's going to Mexico. It's empty. I don't know where, what you're doing with it, but I've never seen an inspection like this at any of the other Warner terminals. Well, some of, some of my coworkers, some inspectors, even, even though it's empty, like they just go around with flashlight. Why do it? Because if something happens, yeah. I have to prove that I did it. Yeah. Do you, so you want me to turn the lights on? Yeah, just give them yeah. Now, when we're done, where do I park this trailer? Empty and loaded go that side. Loaded go all the way on the back. That's it. Loaded go to the far end on the right, on the left side yeah. here. Loaded go after the PC units. Okay. And this one's empty, so go all the way to the end. Yeah. yeah. This guy's from Mexico. Afima? Nuevo Laredo. You took a picture of our trailer. Oh, I hope our trailer was smiling. Well, the office doesn't open until 8 in the morning. What time is it closed tonight? ceiling. I just took a picture of it. So maybe it's looking at the top of the trailer. What's it doing? Is it the trailer? Back by the tandem. Itself or with that same kind of a device we saw in El Paso? Like the mirror or the keys over there? No, he's got his tablet. It's like this one here. Why is it off? He gave up on not charging. supposed to charge the tablet yeah but the contacts aren't very good so sometimes you gotta shake it sometimes you gotta put it in and out sometimes you can charge it with the USB yeah. just unplug your phone there let me 
sometimes the charging cord doesn't even work. It's working. That means it's probably almost dead. It's 30%, but it, it, if it's not charging, it shuts itself off. If you don't realize it's not charging, you might be just coming into a city looking for directions and suddenly the thing dies. And you're like, oh no, where do I go? I missed my turn, you know? You get lost. Watch that little charging icon up in the corner. this seat, not that one, and I steered with this round thing, yeah. and I went really fast, How it was fast. A beautiful sunset with no clouds, just the burning uh, gas pipes on all the oil wells, like lighting candles. the horizon, yeah. How fast were you going, 65 or 65, 65, 65, 65. You ran out of time a minute away from the gate. Yep. But luckily, I had split my clock this afternoon, so I'm not in violation or anything. But you actually have more time left. Yes, yeah. if we would have been a little quicker leaving that place, or if we didn't get stuck in traffic in uh, San Antonio, we would have made it on the normal time. But anyway, we're okay. And uh, kind of thrilling, because we've never been to this terminal before. We've never been into Laredo here. Too bad we got here in the dark. We're not really going to see much. Well, plus this is north of the city, so we're not going to see Yeah, city we're, anyway. we're 10 miles outside of Laredo, actually. Which is too bad, because I hear great things about the food. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to come back and spend a week sometime yeah. in our RV. Mm -hmm. oh, still inspecting. gadgets here. He's got one of these swamp coolers, so when he stands at his desk, he's got cold air blowing on him. And right next to it is a portable propane heater. So in the winter, he stands at his desk and he's got heat blasting on him. These two things are side by side. Because we're in the desert and the temperature... You might run them both on the same yeah, day. Yeah, the temperature <laughs> swing is so crazy in the desert. Yeah. Tonight it's going down to about 40. 40. Slow 40. 71 during the day as a high, so yeah. last night it was uh, in the 30s here, yeah. so yeah, it's all of that. Dress in layers, that's always the key. We're going to have to go down there, drop the trailer, and then we're going to come back up here, park by the bobtails, and get ourselves a Where we are right now. So we came in the gate here, and now we're in this shed. We're going to have to go down here to drop our empties. Come back up to here. What should I do with this now? Um, I think you give it to the office. Hold it. All right, so I'm going to park the trailer down there, way at the end, and then bobtail back up here by the office and go in with this. You think? You're not sure? Not sure because I never leave from here. So I just stay here. Okay. Look at that. That's all I can do, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, have a good night. Thank you. Sure. 
back up when you can drive right through. Nicely done. report that uh, this young man did. He's got the name of each tire manufacturer of all the tires on here, the right and left tandems. Everything's inspected and checked out in good condition. The tread depth is recorded. All the lights have been checked. All the license plate and all that stuff. The flaps. It's a total, total inspection. And there's two wow. copies of it, so I'm gonna bring these in there and yeah. see if they need them. Well, that's office. pretty cool, actually, because then that way, if something's wrong with it, they can keep it here instead of some poor driver being out on the road and having problems. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like somebody who always gets those trailers with the problems, <laughs> especially in Pennsylvania, <laughs> which is a far away from here. Okay, and now, let's go. Thanks for joining us today at the Werner Enterprises Laredo, Texas terminal where we had this unique trailer inspection, which we think is actually a pretty good idea and they might want to implement that at other terminals. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. You can put your comments and questions below. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and have a great day. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.